Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. More of the Talos Principle 2 tonight. Um, last time we got kind of behind in, in our pacing here, so we've got like half of an area to do first, and then we can move on to the next one. Um, to be fair, though, we fucked around in the big murder pyramid for a bit at the beginning of last time, too, which kind of ate into our time. And then I did the puzzles backwards, starting at 8 and going, going on back, which was probably not the best idea. So we've learned not to do that. We've learned not to do that, but I think we've got... Yeah, it looks like we've got either four, maybe six of the normal ones, because we did eight and seven, and then the two lost ones, I think, here. And then the rest of them we'll just have to deal with, right? So, um, there also was... I don't know what that's marking out. Oh! What was that all the way the fuck over there, over to the south? Uh, where's the actual map? Do we not have an actual map? <laughs> that's right, we don't have an actual map, do we? Oh, why? Why don't we have a map? Oh, that's right, we've got the picture of the thing from the thing now. Right? Uh, this. Here, this acts as our map. Okay, so I think that's the... We might want to go south at some point. Um, should we do it now? I suppose we could do it now. Yeah, let's just very slowly make our way down the mountain and go to this little question mark over here. So a weird stone. Is that what the question mark is pointing me towards, maybe? Oh no, there's another little thing there too. Yeah, what is this? It's like a weird little stone disc. Alright, well whatever. Oh, it leads us to okay, another little glowy bit to shove our hands into. Oh, it's more from Lister's here. That's fine, I guess. We can listen to that while we wander about. Yes, we continue. Contrast between the harshness of this place kind of expected the to see of Jerusalem Oops. becomes more uh, and more here. pronounced. There is a kind of madness in what we are doing. Going expected to a place that is so hostile to our existence. That does not mean there is nothing to love. Oh, here. there's four of these things. There here. is in fact a great beauty. Two, but it three. is a hateful beauty. A beauty you can only love because <laughs> there are places that are not a place. hateful beauty. That's a Yet, hell of a phrase. It is precisely this hateful beauty that the people of New Jerusalem fail to see, and so cannot understand see, their there's own anything blessings. else around here. Okay, I don't know. Well, I mean, hateful beauty is a way to describe things. I guess. Um. Okay, I thought we were gonna find the other, like the last little. Um, uh, puzzle entry for the Sphinx Star here, but not such luck. That's fine. That's fine. We found uh, a little thing right away. Uh, but now we are back into actually doing the puzzles, I think. Um, I imagine that the last little square bit will be maybe even around here, actually. And then we'll find out if we were pressing them correctly the last session or not. And if not, I think we just need to invert the invert the things, and then it'll be fine. Oh, there's another little thing over here. Interesting. Oh, is this, uh, this might be the Prometheus star, actually. Um, yeah. Let us consider the city. Or, no, it's just a little what is other a thing. City? Damn. <laughs> it is not a gift from the gods, nor the product more of, of the... Wanderings of Stratton of Stagira. Stagira? Stagira. I'm gonna go with Sophie. Stagira. Mind imposing order on the world. And it is built to serve a purpose. To that end, it has roads and fountains and walls. What is he talking about here? Oh, right. City, right? It has laws and leaders. And though each city is built according to a different plan, all cities must serve their purpose, or they will huh? fall. And become ruins. All right. Well, what's Therefore, the purpose of the city, then? That a city is also a kind of machine. Okay. Constructed to improve the life of its citizens. I mean, I guess that's right. I guess I do agree with that. Okay, but actual puzzles, though. Uh, the gift. All right, we got a button. Got some lasers. A couple lasers. 
Uh, ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's like, hey, all right. <laughs> oh, doesn't work like that. Doesn't quite work like that. We just can't walk up and press the button. But yeah, I guess we needed this to get the box anyways. So let's do that. Let's uh, hop up, grab laser, laser there, right? Uh, and that opens that. And then use our other fella to do that. And then yeah, I see what's going on here. Let's you want know just do this. And uh, oh, I need to take the other one up here anyways. Roop. All right. Oh, so we can just jump there. <laughs> hey, Mega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, although, no, I do need like the box up here, though, don't I? Oh, but now I can, uh, I can swap over and, and do this, right? Um, well, actually, I don't need the box. I just need to jump up here, and then I think I can just take. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, that one's pretty easy. <laughs> Pretty easy now that we know we've got little clone robots we can make use of, right? And the thing, uh, we're not, are we like down to the south here? I figured we would find the thingamading here. Close to here, right? Maybe around. Oh, but it says it's like on the inside though. The others are kind of marked out to the outside of these structures. So maybe it's on the inside. Excuse me. No, well, I guess it isn't on the inside. Well, maybe this isn't the right one then. Maybe it's on like puzzle six or four or whatever. Nuts. Or it's behind the snow or something. Ah, fuck it. I don't know. Definitely not on the outside. Um, all right, so what was that? That was number five. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it could be up there as well. Although the the map bit of it, it's like it's really far to the south. Let's see, any uh, the southeast? So that would have been my thought that I was there, but maybe we're just not far enough east. Finder there. Okay, number four, five. Okay, we missed number six. Let's go do number six. Since we're kind of committed to doing this out of order the way it is. Is that number six over there? Did we stick our hands in this one? We did not. Oh, may no, maybe we did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. That's right. Let's talk about the prime mover, which is definitely not, you know, some sort of traditional religious deity or whatever. Oh, hey. Another little... little Miranda bit here, if right? We believe that life there we go. Inherently valuable, if we think that other species are worth preserving, and we recognize that most of the universe is barren, then it follows that we have a duty not only to defend life, but to spread it. If okay. life is the most valuable thing in the universe, then perhaps, in a sense, the cosmos itself is depending on us to do this. Like birds carrying seeds to uninhabited islands. Maybe that's our role in the galactic ecology. Sure? I, maybe, I guess? Like... I don't know. It seems very, uh... Very, like, a very human-centric thought, right? Yeah, we're, we're special, we need to be doing this or whatever. It's just like, yeah, okay, maybe. Um, but alright, we got a tunnel bit, we got... Uh, laser bits. There's a red thing, blue thing. Okay. Uh, well, there's the red source. What 
look like there's anything beyond here, huh? Is there another me I can make use of? Oh, there. Right over there. Okay. Well, let's start with this. I think additional me will have to put... Oh, nuts. Can't do that. Uh, put this on there. Okay. And that gives us... There's the blue source as well. Oh, there's another box. Or another switch there. Alright. Uh, I think I need this first. Let's get that. And where's my original body? There we go. Uh, this, and where's red there? There's red. Okay. I need to figure out how to open that sucker. Like that, maybe? Well, which means I probably need to... Like, right here, so I can see myself from... Uh, here. Oh, I need to be, like, right up against the thing. Right there. Okay. That'll open that. That's the other laser. Okay. Then. Okay. I see what's going on here. Um, we don't need that connected to red anymore. I don't need that held down. But I do need... Uh, probably that held down. Oops, I actually don't. No, I'll need this first. Grab one of the laser bits. Blue. To about here, I imagine. And then we'll need the second laser bit. And we'll need to go blop, blop, uh, 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 there, right? About right there. I need to do that button there. Okay. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was wondering why I didn't hear a swing there. That must have just talked over. I can't imagine spending years in such a desolate place. For what? Science? Enlightenment? Sure, both, maybe. I'd much rather be back home in New Jerusalem. I mean, yeah, I get I it. It's beautiful. I get it, Al. I'm kind of a homebody myself, too. But I don't understand how our ancestors could survive here. They were so fragile. Imagine getting stuck out here in the cold. That's pretty much the same. It's kind of a miracle <laughs> biological wolves. humans lasted as long as they did. Somehow I don't think wolves would chew on robots. Smarter than that. Uh, okay. Imagine we did most of these other ones that are sitting around here. So there's the, there's the Sphinx thing up there. Yeah. That should be. I think that's where the sea sort of was. Actually, which direction is that? That's north. North, east-ish, right? Yeah, that's kind of up there. Um, and then the path is probably those two, and I imagine this is a... Okay, yeah, that's like number... That's number eight all the way over there. I don't know what this one is. Is this one ever... Ouch. Uh, was... <laughs> is this one ever marked up for us? Like, what is this building? Eh. 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 What up? <laughs> Yeah, the snow would be real rough. The snow, the perpetual snow here would make this a non-starter for me. That's for damn sure. It's a miracle I live where I live the way it is. Oh, this is the gate thing. That's right. That's right. Okay. Um, and then I think we did, yeah, that's number eight over there. That's number seven up there. Uh, I think we just need to make our way around, really. And then there was the secret lab there. Um, let's head over to four. Oh, there's, uh, oh crap, it's, um, Byron. <laughs> I had to think for a moment what his name was. Oh, okay, good, he doesn't have anything to say to us. Okay. I was kind of hoping to find that last little buttony thing 
first, but I imagine it would be probably further this way. Oh, there's a coot. Coot, you got anything more for us? No? Alright. Uh, oh, that was one of the lost puzzles over there. Ah, okay, so this is the triangular path. So we must be looking at... Or the diamond-shaped path, rather. So if we go direct south, that should lead us on a path to the T, right? So about here. So that's what I'm getting out of the... Uh, out of the tiny map we've got, right? Uh, definitely not over there. Oh, maybe it's that one over there, actually. Okay. Whee! Which I thought was number four or five, wasn't it? Yeah, it's number five. And we already decided that it wasn't in there, right? I should take another look around. I feel like it would be fairly obvious if it were on the outside. We already made a circle of the perimeter. one I thought I had specifically looked around inside and there wasn't, wasn't any switches or the little buttons or whatever, right? Yeah. Although now I'm curious since we've got a pretty easy shot with a laser beam somewhere. This is part of it too. Probably not though. Okay, maybe it's not around number five, then. Take a look on the outer wall here, just to make sure. Unless it's a little bit further, but it like it looked like the map was pretty clear that it was... Perhaps in a structure, right? Yeah. But it also had this little, like, jag in the path, too, that I don't think uh, we encountered. So maybe not near five. <laughs> or maybe it did. Am I stupid? Uh, really? Maybe it's maybe it's directly up there. So which one is that? That's number four. Oh no, that's the secret. Uh, well, one of lost bits, I guess. Right. Let's see if maybe it's around there. Oh no, that is number four. Okay. Um, let's check the outside first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dangerous. So there's a little kink in the path there, yeah? Sort of. Sort of, but not really. Alright. Maybe not then. Oh boy. Okay, whoa. We're fine. <laughs> it's fine. Got the whole little like what 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 was the what was the explanation in the portal games about how you could jump from way up high and not take fall damage to the little heel spring things, right? I guess that's what we've got here. Okay, well, puzzle time, we'll figure the rest out anyway. At some point. Oh, we've got two extras here. Um, high ground, you say? Okay. I see what's going on. Um, is that a platform? That looks like a platform there. Alright, uh, so let's go ahead and get this set up. Take that. Get, like, right there. Uh, blip. And blip. And hit him! Oh, can I not? So I need to be closer to be able to grab that, huh? Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. Really? That's not a thing? Can't reach my robot arms up there and grab whatever that is? Feels like it would be a thing. Yeah, because I need like a second little... How's this going to work? I guess... Okay, here. Let's do this. And then let's... Lift box up to you, right? Uh... Can I put a box on your head? Aw. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Alright, let's try that again. Uh, can I put a box down? Just... Oh, well. 
Can we like do a, a little handspring, help each other up here? No? Okay. Um... Hmm. Pretty sure that's a platform up there, anyways. Is there like a little side platform? Can we just jump up on one of these? No. No, no. But on this other side here. No. Okay. Not sure that's too low, huh? Oh, oh, I see. I can uh, do that, and then uh, there we go. <laughs> but now what? How do I how do I get the third stack going here? Can I just pick up this box and lift them both up over my head? Nope. Okay. Uh, boy, how is this gonna work? Uh. <laughs> All right. Let's start with this. Yeah, cause I need the third one up on top of this weirdo robo pyramid we got going here. Is that gonna work? Hmm. Oh, I think I get it. Uh, all right. Uh, you, you need to drop down here, and then. Uh, yeah. Okay, we can do that. And then I need you up on one of these, right? And then you need to go... Wait, then you need to go first. Oh, wait. Alright, hold on. I did this stupidly. Let's get you up there first. And then we go up there. And then we go up there. There we go. Order of operations. Okay. There's that. shaky little tower we got going on. Oh, right, there was also that social media bit we wanted to, like, answer, perhaps, right? People were getting snippy. All these new robot humans are being like, brah, brah, brah. Perfectly mirroring humanity by yelling at each other on forums. Like, what, what was, okay, what was the deal here? Oh, right, they're arguing about the whole robot replication thing and the goal being bullshit. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. Uh, yada, yada, yada. And people got all uppity. And that's like, um, right, okay. I mean, yeah, I don't think the, these convos should be banned, for sure. But that it's devolving into personal attacks and shit is kind of not good. Um, so let's let's say, yeah, it sucks, but it should be allowed. <laughs> and then the actual mod speaks up. It's like, yeah, you should try being a moderator sometimes. It's like, yeah, I get, well, I get that. I fucking get it. Oh, and then they close the thread anyway. So, all right, we tried. We fucking tried. Oh, good. This is the person from, uh, from before. Helga, huh? Trying to comment thinks it might be fun for us to chat. Uh, okay. Well, you know, start courteous, right? Yes. I was interested to meet you. I think with people with the imagination to see the world without insisting it fit inside whatever boxes, yada yada yada, the powers that be and just to think they know how things ought to be, so there's a little intractable goals, blah blah blah, I just want everyone to enjoy themselves. Um, okay, but I'm not sure how I can help. How can I help? Let's treat that as a question. Um, every time I catch a glimpse of the truth, it looks a little different. I can't see your face, but I sense you're full of questions, have it? I am full of questions! 
Um. Uh, who who are you? Hello, I'm 1K, but who are you? Obviously, you're Helga, number 101, but who are you? If I were a book, there'd be a shopkeeper on the front cover. You should drop by when you're next in town. Got some insight in your stock. Uh, okay. That doesn't particularly answer the question, but I don't know. Where are you? In the heart of the city. Now that she's following now, it's taking a moment to enjoy Chauncey's Gardens. Okay, that's more direct. Uh, why? Uh, okay, why are you is a bit weird, but we'll just go with it. Why are you? <laughs> why are you? Why is anything? Why, why? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is something you always find. It's opposite curve lines because single points, see colors and hear sounds, and it's just one of the zeros, yada, yada, yada. Okay. And it's fractions, that's why. Two poles the same thing, doing a dance to the can. Okay, well, that's kind of a, a weird answer, too. But I do want to know what you want with me. Like, that's probably more more accurate. This has been great change. I just want you to approach it with an open mind and a kind heart and regale me with stories of adventure when you come home. Sounds like such fun. Whatever you choose to do, blah, 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 blah. Uh, make a point of never telling anyone how to live their lives. But I will make one request. Please don't share what I've told you with the city just yet. I have to consider my business and reputation. People are better customers than they think you. They know what you're selling. So what do you think? Are we going to be friends? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> this is... It's weird. It's throwing up a couple flags here. Not particularly red, but yeah, sure. Let's be friends. Why not? There's a bit more ceremony. Nothing fancy. Some rituals where you eat a live bat. Ah, okay, right. Eat a live bat and then vibrate some cat guts at the precise frequency of the gate to the ninth dimension. Yeah, all right, sure. All right. That's definitely a shit post. Um, I'm just, I'm going to choose to ignore the shit post there. Yeah, let's stay in touch. Interesting. Weird, but interesting. And then what was Yakut saying about these structures? Blah, blah, blah. It's really, really impressive. Could it just to be impressive? Yeah, okay. I don't agree with that, but it's fine. All right. What's, uh, what's our map look like again? Like, we're not really too far south, are we? We need to be more, more south, but also more east, which makes me think that number five is the one, but... We've checked it over two times already, and it's just not there. It's more south-ish, and slightly east would be that. I'm trying to... if we can sneak one of the platforms out of here, maybe? Oh, well, well, okay. Because if we could do that, maybe we could get up on some other things in number five there, which might be interesting. Um, I'm going to have to do this again. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Move you down. Up. 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 Can we jump that Far, far? Oh wow, we can. Nice. Good ups. Okay, so we can definitely yoink a platform. Uh, can we yoink it out of here, though? No. Would be fun. Oh, well, alright, fine. Okay, I guess we can't yoink something out of here. Yeah, because like number five is almost in the perfect position here. But does it have, is it like sort of shaped like that? No, because it's not got the little bip on the side. Maybe there's another structure somewhere down there. Hmm. So that's the last one. The T is definitely the last one in there, but... Yeah. 
Okay, well, let's do the other puzzles, and we'll think about it a bit. And make another circuit or something. Ooh. Looks like that's a bit of a... A bit of a geometry error in the uh, in the landscape there, no problem. Just pretend we didn't see that. That's interesting, was that always there? Is the big death laser thing? The little elevation laser thing, was that always there? I feel like maybe it wasn't. Oh, no, maybe this was the... Oh, right, this was the entrance to the area, because that was the uh, the little tram pod thing. And then we took the laser up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Okay, let's find our way over to the three, two, and one puzzles here. I'm sure those will go very quickly since we were supposed to do those first. Eh, oh, okay, all right, take the stairs. Oh, and then there's the Prometheus bit. Uh, you know what? Since we've spied this here, let's... Let's follow it. Because this will be the other star. All right, where'd you go? Where did it go? Crap. Uh. Uh. Fuck, I lost track of it. Where'd it go? Um. Shit. <laughs> uh. Now, do I just have to meet up with it now at the wherever it is, and then that'll that'll do it, right? Or can we just restart the whole thing by getting, a, getting, getting it again here? No? Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll take care of that later. We know we needed that for the other star anyways, so I'm cool with just letting it be for now. All right, uh, oh, we skipped number three, apparently. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, leg up. Lots of buttons. Some fans, some platforms. Do these hold down buttons? They do. Yoink. Okay. I'm going to take this platform with me, just in case. That does just about nothing. Oh, I see. Uh, I think I see, actually. You know what? Let's go... Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, let's move you over. Move you up. Because I need to get elevated a bit to jump there. And then we can go... Whoop, 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 whoop. And like that. Now I'll borrow this platform. Thank you. Okay. Ah, this one was, like, at the main structure here itself, huh? Alright. Oh, number three is just across the way. Haha. <laughs> Dual stream. Uh, okay, two fans. Red laser. Platform. Laser bits. Robot clone. Uh, I guess we probably want to do this. We can do that, and do like bonk, bonk, and wherever the red input is here. Oh, I see. Uh, let's kind of split both of those, and then can we just put that up there? Yeah, we can. Oh, but it didn't, uh... Well, that's interesting. Oh, I see. Okay, yep, and now we can just move over to this one. And there we are. <laughs> okay, and I think that just leaves number one. Number one. 
The one we should have fucking started on because it would have probably been clearer that I can take control of these robot, these extra robot bits, right? Would have just looked over and been like, oh yeah, I can take control. Oh man, good stuff though. Um, okay. We've got ladders, we've got buttons. I'm just gonna leapfrog this a bit, yeah? Yep, just like that. <laughs> Before the little victory music even stops from the previous one. Okay, and I believe that's all of the puzzles, right? Yep, now we just gotta find the two stars, and then we'll be done here. Um, one of the stars is already kind of taken care of. Oh wait, now Yakut's got something to say. Or I'm sorry, Alcatraz. Hey, what's up, man? Hello, 1K. What's up? What do you got? Uh, did you know the founder? I sure did. Not as well as Byron, but she was still around when I was born. I remember she came and talked to me after New Alexandria. Told me how sorry she was. Mm -hmm. I never blamed her for that. It wasn't her responsibility. Well, she was the leader, right? Um, how is New Jerusalem a lot like? Busier than it is now. Yeah. My most I mean, he had 31 more bodies, right? Noisy, because something was always being built. Oh, I know it was under construction. Got okay. Annoying after a while. <laughs> Get that. Uh, what do you think about the replication tech? It seems like something that could very quickly get out of control. Hell yeah, it could. You know that saying about good intentions? Uh, road to hell's paved with them. If we can solve problems by just making more people, how long before people just become <laughs> problem solving? Tool? Okay, also, yep, that's a, that's a good way to think about it. Well, not a good way to think about it, but it is a way to think about it. Uh, what do you think about Miranda's idea that's our duty to spread life? Uh, ancestors thought they could introduce new species to existing ecosystems mm. and it never turned out well yeah no it doesn't go so well does it I uh, I kind of agree with that like a lot of things Miranda says take it with a grain of salt etc right pretty but once you think about it you start seeing the problems hmm well, tell me about New Alexandria I guess for some reason We'd convinced ourselves that New Jerusalem wasn't enough. I mean, that we needed another city. Sure. I mean, one city. Or... We thought it would be easier the second time around. Sure. I mean, you learn from the first one. All it takes is a little bit of arrogance. Yeah. And a little bit of ignorance. Yeah. And people die. Oof. Boy, Alcatraz. I mean, that's a, that's a dose of reality right there. But we probably need that, too. So, thanks, I guess. Um, all right. Where was... I guess we'll just wander around until we see it. But where was the, um... The, uh, Prometheus Bit Star thing? Uh, I know there's one over there, but I think that's the Sphinx one? Off to the west, maybe? Let's see here. Uh, well... Maybe that's the Prometheus one. I can't quite... That does kind of look like the Prometheus one. Let's go do that one first, because I know that'll be waiting for me. Oh, hey, uh, Melville. What's up? Yes? You got the little quest blinker there. Did you ever meet the founder? Of course I did. <clears throat> she and Cornelius were both there when I was born. All right, cool. Neath was just starting to take over back then. Neath. Okay, and they were not still Neath. Neath. Ropes. Neath. Got it. Uh, what was the founder like? Busy. Well. There was always another problem Oh, to there's solve. always problems to solve. Did you know? That she never upgraded her body. You should know that, Melville. Always You're an engineer. Everyone else. Always problems. That's the kind of work ethic I wish more people had. Hmm. Um, I agree. I agree that there needs to be space for other things in life. I think the obsession with work becomes self-destructive at some point. Oh, boy. That's... Yes. Uh-huh. I disagree. Okay. At least when it comes to myself. All right. For me... Living is doing. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Reasonable people can disagree. Uh, you ever crave companionship? I've never felt the need for a partner as such. Okay. I've met a lot of people who do. Athena and Cornelius. Atal and Damien. Don't think we've met Sarabai them. Sarabai and Hypatia. They haven't met Sarabai. That's not really for me. Okay, that's fair. So far, at least. 
but I do have social needs like anyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. I like is a, a pleasant buzz of humanity. Not too close, yeah. not too far. Uh -huh. Something I can be part of without having it get in my face. All right, time. yeah. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you, Melville. I'm with you. Um, do these visions affect my mind? Well, I mean, it's data overloads, right? Yes, Probably. They could. <laughs> safeguards to prevent that from oh happening. really huh but these aren't exactly carefully controlled circumstances it's hard to predict our brains are absurdly complicated yeah yes which is they why are it's so hard to make more of us uh, why do you think the founder left new jerusalem maybe she just got sick of things breaking all the time uh. <laughs> oh that's it <laughs> okay uh what exactly can these particle clouds do as far as I can anything tell, and everything? Anything. Yeah, which all right. Is insane. Yeah, probably. Um, how do you feel about Herman's policies? I used to think it was the only safe way forward. Ooh. Keep things simple and under control. Okay. Now I'm not so sure that ever made sense. All right. Well, you adjust your opinions to the circumstance. That's a good sign. Uh, what do you think about Miranda? She's so innocent and full of wonder. It should make me want to wretch. Should to though. Speaking. But. But I'll admit. Okay. She's sort of charming. All right. Well, I should get back to work. Solving puzzles. Puzzles ain't gonna solve themselves, although all these are now solved. So you know. Um. Okay. Where are we? Where are we were going? Uh, we were going out to the uh, Prometheus thing. Where was that now? Is that off to the west? Yeah, it's over there. Yeah. Okay. the actual main bit that we need to build, yeah? Okay. We'll head off to the west, and then we'll try looking for the last uh, letter thing of a bob, right? It's pretty much diametrically opposed here. Need to head to the east. Southeast, rather. If the map is to be believed. Uh, well, let's just kind of take a hop down here. Um, or is that the Sphinx one? No, that looks like uh, Prometheus. Okay, um, I'm hoping it's here waiting for us. It is not. Okay. <laughs> we might have to rechase the some bitch over here then. Yeah. Fuck. Well, at least we know more or less where it is, right? Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see ya. Uh, it was by the, one of the little stair bits over here, right? We just need to I guess stay closer to it. While it does its thing. Keep it in visual range, etc. Ah, and then there's the Sphinx one over there. Uh, yeah. Triangulate that later, I guess. Just on the side thing here, right? Oh, it's not there anymore. Uh. Okay. Um. Oh, it's over there now. Uh. All right. I guess we just need to keep up with it. Oh. Ah, we need to get up there again now, huh? Okay, um, hold on. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, interesting. It's like a two-parter. That's kind of cool. Alright. Ah, uh, side jerk. <laughs> okay, now we're seriously on the path here. Pretty easy star to grab. Bam. All right. We cannot return to the past. No, we cannot. The future can redeem all that has happened. Uh, I don't know. That sounds very much like kind of a ends justify the means sort of thing. Like, I agree with the first bit. We can't go back, right? Can't go back to the past. But, like, I don't know if we should necessarily discount it on the basis that the future could be, like, the justification for it or whatever. Um, okay. Now, all right, the Sphinx thing is over there. Um, and that's off to the north northeast. The last bit that we need to grab is kind of to the south east. So let's find the little diamond path here. <clears throat> Which I think was close to one of these trail markers. It was like right here. This is like the sort of diamondish four-way path thing, right? Um, kind of hard to tell. Sort of like little triangular bits, right? <clears throat> so the one to the south that kind of leads a little bit to the east is the one we want to follow. That's more west than south, probably. So it's got to be this one. does this little, I guess it does that little jag there, which doesn't necessarily mean anything. And it kind of jags off here, too. That goes off to there, and that goes off to the west, but we want to go to the east. So, like, right here. Then this leads to number five, which I think we had done a full circle around, and it didn't have any of the buttons. So that might mean it's a little bit further away. Maybe a little bit further to the south, because it looks like it's pretty far south here, and I don't know that we're that far south just yet. So we could keep going down there. And look around. But I guess I'll look around this structure one more time. In case I miss something obvious. Because the other two little 3x3 three three button things are pretty obvious. They stood out. Um, but this does not appear to have it on the outside, at least. And then I decided to look inside, right? And it didn't appear to be anywhere inside, either. It's got the letter itself on the inside of this little outline, right? It does make me think it's maybe further to the southeast. I mean, unless... Well, actually I've got an idea. 
Oh, right. I can't hold this. I can't hold the box above my head. Only the platforms. Never mind. That doesn't work. Just gonna take a look around to see if maybe it was on one of the upper walls. So the alternative is I can maybe just jump my butt in here. Oh, there's a ladder out. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I think maybe we're not far enough to the south. It's the only big structure, really, and maybe the structure has been lost to time, and the Sphinx map is out of date, right? So let's head more south. Ouch. Uh, and slightly east, right? other structure is this little sort of bridge, sort of pier looking thing, right? That doesn't seem to hold any buttons on it either. So we can look around the little path, or the little uh, tram track here too. Wonder, can we uh, just kind of walk along this? <laughs> It'd be kind of silly if we could, but yeah. Judge distance and height, and first person view here. Ah, oh, that's why first persons are not meant to be platformers. All right, let's try it from here. There we go. Oh well, no. Okay, <laughs> they got some weirdo collisions going on that prevents us from doing that. Okay. Okay, well, I don't know how far south they want us to be here. <laughs> I imagine we could grind, right? <laughs> With our robo legs? Should be able to grind out something. Put Tony Hawk to shame, you know? Um, and then there's just a bunch of water. Like, I can't imagine they want us to go this far south. But I guess that's the main structure there. Uh, and if that's the case, then we should probably be going way more east. Relatively speaking, according to the map, right? And if that's the case, maybe, like, just in the wrong fucking area altogether. Oh, maybe it's by that little fan thing that we had encountered before, too. Although I don't recall that being like a large enclosed area, either. That seems like that would be too far east. Well, because there's the main structure, right? Although that's kind of got the protrusion out directly to the east. Is that right? I guess that kind of is right. Huh. So if we want to head... I guess we want to head more... Well, that, no, let's head it out to the north, not the south. I wish we could zoom in on this a bit. Hmm. Yeah. Well, no. Maybe the thing, maybe the platform itself is extending off to the west. Okay, all right. I guess we'll just kind of circle the, the coast here and see what we can see. Admire the scenery. All the snow I don't have to fucking deal with right now. Although we're supposed to get it like two or three more inches again tomorrow morning, which fucking sucks. I'm running out of places to fucking put it to keep my damn sidewalk and driveway clear. Damn snow. I'm glad we're halfway through the season. 
could have done without the fucking 18 inches last week, though. Gravy. Okay, so, like, here's this thing out here, right? But this seems like way too small a structure to be in. Yeah, because the bench was around here. This is way too small a structure to be, uh, the thing, right? If we point directly west, that's going... Yeah, so, like, we're all the way over here. We should be more to the south. Should be, like, over there. Or, uh, I guess southwest, right? Sort of southwest. More south than southwest. Uh, should be, like, over there. But, I guess can do is try to get eyeballs on it from above. Because here's the main structure. I guess that the next thing would be there. That's kind of east-ish, right? Yeah. Oh, that was kind of the one that had, like, not a lot to it. Like, I felt there was a structure out there for no reason. So maybe it's out there. Maybe we went out there the first time before we knew about the buttons. Which is certainly possible. And this is definitely more... Oh, this is more north. Well, take a look at it regardless. This is more northeast. And I guess there was a little glowy hand bit out here too. So it wasn't nothing. wasn't enough of a thing to make me want to come back here a second time. But, we'll look. We'll look around. No, it's not on here. But on the inside. No, not here either. Okay. I felt like that was too far to the north anyways. So, based on the map, then, where the fuck are we? Because <laughs> uh, we probably would have jumped around here. We're probably in the north. We look southwest. Is that the main direction of the... Yeah, more or less. Okay, yeah, we are definitely in the wrong spot, then. Okay, let's go back this way. Damn it, I wanted to, like, kind of catch up a little bit from last time, since we fucked around in the murder pyramid before. Get back on our, like, one section per night grind here, but... This one's starting to be problematic. Would it be way out there, the little cape-looking motherfucker over there? I don't think so. There's no structures out there at all. Is there anything out there? Maybe there's that little... There might be something out there. <sighs> Fine, let's go look. Feels really far out of the way. Or something like this, but the fact that they don't like super hard out of bounds us over here is pretty telling, right? This is more south than oh, I guess it's sort of southeast. What would the buttons even be on? I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing that stands out around here for buttons to be on. I guess this little, little outcropping here, but it's not like a structure. Maybe it'd be a wall or something. All right, no, that was a waste. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's 
Sort of a wall there. That looks more like a rock, though, right? Yeah, that's a rock, not a wall. Man, we are full-on Skyrim horsing this mountain, aren't we? <laughs> like, look at that. Incredible. Alright, well... It's more... It's more south than east, right? Just a little bit more. Not too much, but it was definitely along a path, too. Let's get back to... And path here. That's more north. It's definitely more north, and that one leads out to the weirdo structure that didn't have anything anyway. So, okay, alright. Let's get back to the center bit here. Get our bearings. Let's see, Let's see if there's another path that we forgot to take or something. everything else now. So just kind of make our way around this one to see if there's the... Gosh, sick. Well, alright. Okay, alright. So here's like the stairway up to the main bit now. And this was number 8. Which is kind of sort of that... I guess we didn't look around inside this one very much, right? We just were concerned with the the puzzle itself. This might be the one where it is. Just have a have a look around inside, I guess. Cuz this is a rather big area. You know what? Let's get a a feel for the shape of this. Cuz that's definitely, you know, more east than south. And what did this thing look like? It had kind of a little thing jutting out to the north. Should have been that away, yeah. Uh, might definitely be in there, huh? Okay, let's look around. I follow that might be on the interior of the structure, right? It could be on any of these walls. Could it possibly be above? No, I don't think we can get up there. But, if it is on the exterior, I guess we could go look at that again. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's on the interior. But if it's on the exterior for some reason, I should be able to eyeball it. Just let me climb up there. <sighs> Come on, it's like a fucking knee-high rock face here. Just let me jump up there. Oh my god. Alright, fine, we'll go this way. So there's the Phoenix itself. Or not the Phoenix. The Sphinx itself over there. And that was where one of the other ones was, yeah? Which direction is that? That's north. More or less north. A little bit on the west side, I guess. Uh, maybe it wasn't up there. Hmm. Huh. 
Oh, oh, jeez. Well, okay, let's go up over here. I'll try to. <laughs> uh, I guess there's nothing here either. Well, son of a... Oh, well, okay. Good job. Oh, well, I can sort... Oh! There it is! Wow, okay, that's... Are we in the right area? Okay, um, well then. <laughs> uh, uh... Crap. Um, which one even is this, though? Is this the southernmost one? Because this looks like it would be the A, because it's got enough of the, the buttons to make the A. Are we sort of, um... What the hell even are we? We're pretty much directly south, right? No, if we, if we look to the west, we see the main structure. Look to the west, yeah. I'm not even sure what this is now. This does not seem like it should be where it is. <sighs> Alright, well... I guess if this is... Because if it was the kind of the outline bit that I was thinking before, having that plugged in like that should have done it. But since it's not, it should have been this. And then we gotta find, we gotta refine the other two. God damn it! Well, the other one up to the north I think is pretty obvious. This one over here is not as obvious. Okay, well, we've got... Where the hell even is this? That's one of the hidden ones. Right? Yeah, okay. So off to the... East of the main bit. The hidden one east of the main bit. Is one of them. Which seems weird. This seems way too close to where it should be. But okay. So this should be way farther to the south. Well, maybe not, I guess. Fuck. Okay, well, whatever. We've got T plugged into that one. Um, I have to find the other two now again. Uh, so we need to head to the west. Roughly speaking. Skyrim this mountain here? Yeah, we can. Okay. Was it here, or was it around the other one? I think we did number four tonight, right? So it wasn't on this one. It's further to the west. Because I remember one of them was kind of on the way to the Sphinx, right? And that was the Prometheus bit over there, though. Ah, fuck. Um, or no, it can't be. That must be the Sphinx one, because it's still kind of on our compass thing. I think this one was also on the outside of the, uh, oh, well, okay. Also on the outside of the, uh, the, uh, lost puzzle bit, right? Yeah, 
Ugh. Yeah, there. Uh, oh, these got reset. What the? F oh, I didn't save the state of these before. All right. Uh, well, which one are we at now, though? Is this? I have no idea what's going on here now. I figure this is the A bit one now, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's make sure where we're. How did I manage to fall down here? Get out of here. Okay, where the fuck am I in relation to everything else? Am I slightly southwestish of the main bit? Yeah, I guess. Okay. So this one is probably A. And then we gotta head way to the north to get to C. Okay. Alright. Fine. Fucking whatever. We know where it is. The, they're by the two little secrety bits. And then the last one is up to the north. This better, this better be the fucking star payoff here, because, my goodness, I've spent a lot of time fucking around getting this last bit. Um, I don't remember if it was directly over here, or if it was further, closer to this, I think it was maybe on that structure over there. Okay. But, since we're here, we can take a look. Ooh, oh boy. Oh, well. Okay. Well, son of a... Okay. Okay, no, I think it was the other structure then. Yep. Okay, I don't, it wasn't this inaccessible. It must be over there. Wasn't on this little intermediary bit either. Skyrim this mountain over here. Try to, anyways. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Um, now, was it, like, really near the Sphinx thing? Or is it on the way, kind of on the outside wall, right? Yeah, there we go. I think this is C. No, oh, that, that wasn't it, huh? Well, shit. Uh, I guess I really don't get it then. I figured it was doing the whole, like, make the letters bit, right? This one for later then. I don't really understand what's going on here. Well, since we're close here, uh, let's take a look at a zoomed in view of the thing, right? So this is you know, mostly north. It's mostly north, right? Thought. Unless I just reversed one of the letters, which is definitely impossible. So now I'm curious if, uh,. I might just need to leave this for later. So this is definitely the northmost one. And it 
should then be the C, right? The only thing that makes me very curious about this is that there's not really enough blocks on this one to make an A. Unless there is. Because that's what? That's south. That's southwest, right? Alright, well, we'll leave that one. Okay, we'll, we'll try this one more time. We'll leave that one as the C. Um, and then we'll make our way over to the others. This one's more southeast. Which would have been this one here. T, right? I'm just an idiot. I just can't. Oh no, that's not even the thing. It's further. It's down here. Oh, it was actually like beyond that wall there. Alright, circle around again. But this one definitely has, like, the four setup for the A, right? And I guess that makes sense, right? Oh, pattern is already so. Oh, what? Wait a minute. So if we got it right, it stops us from fucking doing more of it? Are you shitting me? Why didn't it do it to the other ones? Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, I hate it. Did I just invert the shit like I was thinking before? Oh, I am... Oh. Damn it. <laughs> fucking hell. Well, alright. Cool, I just need to set these up fuck around with them enough until it says, hey, yeah, good job, you did it. Uh, oh, that's annoying. Okay, let me go back up to this one then. Because why didn't it... Like, I, def I thought I tried both the normal and the inverted bit here. And it didn't be like, no, stop fucking with it, dude. You got it. See, so it didn't... Wait, what? Why does it let me fuck around with this one now? Is, it, is this the T and not the A? Why is this one the T? The fuck? Isn't this the north one? Why is this the T? Am I fucking stupid? I think I'm stupid. Like, uh, is this not like cardinal directions north, east, south, west here? I'm so confused. I am so damn confused here. I... Okay, I mean, I guess I'll go solve the other one right quick then, huh? Where was it? <laughs> Crap, because I only knew about the... Oh, I guess it was by the other... The, the, the other lost one. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. Where we've come this far, I'm gonna finish this, and then we're gonna go on to the next segment. Gosh dang. AI parsing convos in the Discord channel. What? What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean by that one there, buddy? Um, okay. Did we, this, was this the one we saw? No, this isn't one of the lost ones. It was over there, right? Okay, I need to go to the other, other lost one. 
So I think that's where the other one was, right? I think it was on the outside of this, right? Or this one, rather. Okay, I'm a little annoyed with how that map was drawn out then. Because I was expecting it to be actually cardinal directions and shit. But, uh... Cookie challenges. Challenging, I'm not sure enough they are. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh... Okay, well this definitely isn't A, right? Which one is this? Is this C? There we go. Henner's already solved my ass. This is not what the map was pointing at. Because this is not up at the north. I mean, I guess unless I was supposed to read this in relation to um, the big old platform there at the left side. Which, okay, fine, I guess fair, but, ugh, man. All right, let's go get the star. You know what? Fuck this one. Let's go get the star and put it behind us. Fucking shit ass. So I was I was right about the solutions. I was just wrong about the locations. Ah, uh, okay, that annoys me a little bit. I was kind of wondering why one of them was a grid of three by four, and the others were three by three. I was like thinking, yeah, maybe that might mean like the three by four one is the A. And it's like, okay, I guess so, but. Fucking... Whatever. Whatever! It's fine! Doesn't matter, we solved the puzzle eventually. If it gets us away from this fucking snowy wasteland, I guess that's a good thing, right? Done with it. Alright, yeah, we did it! Star number two, hooray! Yeah. No, because I'm fucking living proof of that. It's just I'm too gosh dang stubborn to not continue doing it. <laughs> Damn it. Fucking too real, Sphinx. Too real. Um alright. Oh no, we gotta do we gotta turn on the death laser, that's right. We got one more thing to do here. We gotta build the build the Tetris bridge and turn on the death laser. And then we can get the fuck out of here. Alright, well, we'll see when we get to the next area how much of it we can take care of then. Alright, here's the the thing itself. Okay, here we go. Okay. Well, gee. Really making this a bit easy, huh? I guess it makes sense, though, because look at all how much fucking... How many things we got to, to work with here. Oh, that's not the right one, for sure. Uh... Do, 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 do. Sure, that might work. There we go. No, that one doesn't work. Uh, that's probably not right then. Uh, maybe the the O piece. And then the that's not. I need the L piece, right? Oh, that's not the right L piece though. Uh, that doesn't work either. Okay, probably not the old piece then. Okay, I guess that works there. Uh, now the L piece? No, that's still no good. Okay, how about the old piece now? There we go, okay. Uh, and then the I piece. And then I guess like that. And that probably, and then yeah, close enough. There we go, perfect. First try. Up we go. Woo! All right. Which uh, construct are we talking to? Oh, good, the Sphinx. Great. 
Prometheus was punished by being bound to a rock, there to be eternally tormented. Uh huh. The chains that held him were forged by Hephaestus. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I know my Greek and or Roman mythology, sort of. Allow his art to be used in this fashion. I mean, did he know? Did Hephaestus know about this, or was this just kind of like an order from the top? Hey, we need some chains. We're not gonna fucking tell you what they were about. Um. <laughs> you just cut out the cryptic nonsense and tell me if Athena's here. Really tempted by that one, actually. Um, what was the question? Was he justified in making... Was Hephaestus justified in making the chains, right? Um, Hephaestus thought the punishment was unjust. He should have refused. Okay. Uh, Hephaestus only forged the chains of Zeus who bound Prometheus. Okay, true. I, both of those have an element of truth to it. It's his duty to obey the father of the gods. Nah. It's just a straight up blanket. Yes, he was justified. Oh boy. Uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna go with kind of the idealistic answer here and say no. No one should be changed. Fuck you. And should Tantalus not be punished for taking the life of his son? Oh, uh, is that what if Tantalus did? Are not punished, those who suffer most are those who cannot defend themselves. I mean. Yes, but did we establish that Prometheus committed, like, a super heinous crime here? Yep, stealing fire? Yeah, whatever, you can't steal fire. Um... Causes of injustice are removed, crime will cease. Hey, that's interesting. Um, better anarchy than oppression. <sighs> Criminals should be healed, not punished. Yeah, yeah. So you would heal Prometheus of his belief in freedom? What? The, no! Yourself, does your punishment exceed the one decreed by Zeus? One, Zeus is fucking made up. Journey to the flame. Remember <laughs> Hephaestus and the burdens of the blacksmith. Uh, what? The bur What do you mean the burdens of the blacksmith? He got to make the shit. He got to do the shit that he loved. That burden. Fucking. All right, whatever. I'm very suspicious of this Sphinx construct here. Solve the puzzles, enter the town, hey. speak to an entity, turn on the beam. All it's right. Like she's appealing to our past, reminding us of where we came from. What? Changing enough elements to make us view our history through a different lens. Byron, what the or fuck are you talking about? I don't know. You might have something there. I, Alcatraz, don't encourage him. It's called defamiliarization. You could. I think I'm actually impressed. What the? F I don't. What? Man, I don't know about the rest of our traveling party here. That was a weird exchange. I don't like that they mostly agreed with Byron there. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the next area and you know, make as much progress as we can there. So we fucked around here for about an hour and a half. Should have been half an hour at most. Oh well. What are you gonna do sometimes? Where can we go besides a place filled with snow? Flooded valley. And the rain is in the days and the rain rising sea levels caused by anthropogenic climate change. Ooh. Hey, that's some commentary right there. Let's go. You're on your way to an island. Uh huh. Yes, another island. Oh yeah, shocking. Melville. Well, it actually used to be a valley between the mountains, but it's mostly flooded now. Okay. That probably happened long before the founder came here, though. Mm. Another legacy of our ancestors. <laughs> oh, well, I'll get you Ah. For another one of the founders left. I was. We can't get back into the mega structure without getting to the third site in the north. Yeah. But I need more information to make more fixes. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna do that anyway, Melville. You don't need to tell me explicitly to do that. We're four sections in, and I found well three of the four labs, but, you know, I was going to look for it. Okay. Now I see less open space to get lost in, at least.
All right. Uh, fifth verse, same as the first four here. Eight normal puzzles, two lost ones, a gate, and a lab, and two stars. Yeah, okay. Got it, I guess. Well, there's uh, another Sphinx thing already, huh? Oh, good, it's another map that we can misinterpret. Love it. Okay, looks like another switch thing. Three of them to sort out here. Uh, okay. Seems a little bit more straightforward, I suppose. Just need to find things in relation to other things, I guess. Um, Alright, we're not going to do a dumb like the previous area. We're going to follow these 1 through 8 again. So we can learn what we're supposed to be doing instead of trying to suss it out at the hardest puzzle, right? Hey, Yakut, what's up? You got something? No? Not yet? Alright. There's number one. Alright, what do we got? Absorption. Oh, an accumulator. That's a new tool. When charged, will become a mobile emitter of that color. Huh. How about that? Okay. Ah, I see, and then we can get rid of the... Get rid of it. Alright. Got it, got it. Oh, and then it's just straight up a fucking just normal laser thing. Got it. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, okay. We have another laser bit somewhere that we can use, or is that just kind of it? Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. It's kind of... Oh, wait. I gotta connect this one up, too. There we go. Yoink. I see. So we're doing a... Few little leapfrog things here. All right. In the beginning, before we built New Jerusalem, we used to explore just like this. Uh huh. And what happened? Small groups setting out for the horizon, looking for resources, trying to make sense of the world we've been thrust into, trying to find a way forward. It was a hard time, but I can't deny that it was also exciting. I think it's part of our nature to be wanderers. Our ancestors crossed entire oceans on flimsy wooden boats. Try to look for these switches was. while we're doing this. Too. Is it weird to feel nostalgic for a time I never experienced? I just think I could have contributed. Hey, so look, much one of the switches. It's not weird, but it was I all bet sunshine. that's this one People here. Died. Yemo, Calvin, Isaac. I keep heading over here. They were family to me. Sorry. So there's probably another one over there. To reopen old wounds. It's a legitimate point. Oh, that's too deep. It invalidates the sense of wonder we felt. That's what kept us going. Oh, that's also too deep. Okay, that's the major structure over there. So we got that. Um. Looks like we might have to actually get over there. Like, do the main bit first. That'll let us haul our butts over to... Uh, I guess over there, yeah? Yeah. Okay, at least those are pretty clearly marked. Where's the, the last one, then? Uh, okay, over the opposite direction. Alright. See if we're quick enough at this to to get that last one. I doubt it, but we'll see how far into this we can get. We can maybe make up a little bit of ground here. Okay, uh, triptych. We got a, an absorber, a combo bit, blue red, blue red, uh, green. I guess. 
know what? No, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do blue for this first, right? Because then we can do... Uh... Crap, actually. Uh... Yeah, because we gotta, we gotta sort this out such that it's not uh, being stupid. Okay. Um... Blue, blue... Uh... That? <laughs> Then we gotta go red, blue, green. That's obviously not gonna do it, of course. Um, hmm. Actually, wait. Can I... Here's what I think I can do. I think I can charge it on green, right? Hey, hey, look at that. All right. Um, and then we can go red, green, blue, blue. Hey, look at that. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, and I got another... See the Prometheus bit kind of circling around over there. Um, that's fine. We'll catch up with that later, perhaps. Number three over here. I guess we should keep an eye out for the lost bits and the lab thing that Melville was harping about, right? This looks kind of weird over here. We got... Ooh, glowy hand bit. Yet it moves. Uh, so you story in the archives by Galileo, blah, 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 heresy, blah, blah, blah. Um, huh, punished for believing in actual science, go figure. Uh, it's harder than it sounds, fighting an authority, yeah, huh, well, Elohim can suck a big one. Um, it takes enormous willpower to continue, blah, 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 okay, yep, yeah, I get it. Good, good stuff. Puzzled. Role of puzzles and stimulation is so important that it's left an indelible imprint. Sometimes I worry that's an issue. And being a problem solver, the real world isn't anything like the simulation. I mean, yeah, true. We don't have no laser bits just sitting around out there. Our problem is solved. There's an, there's an a tetromino waiting to reward you. It's just another problem and another and another. Oh, boy. Guo, number 20 is pretty, pretty worldly here. That was what's up. Uh, veneration of the puzzle may be blind is the fact that sometimes there isn't a neat solution, that sometimes life is just going to be a slog. It's just a slog, and the best you can do is muddle through. Oh, that's depressing. Oh, it's depressing, but true. Um, Aurora. Here's the have you, have you really left us for good, even without saying goodbye? I know we haven't spoken much lately. Yada, 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 yada. yada. That's funny. Why didn't you say so? <clears throat> I know you disapprove of all the silly titles they give us now, but do you remember your first companions? Really, we're your first companions. Well, what number are you, Aurora? Let's decide if you're actually a first companion or not. <clears throat> you know, it's like us back when Neo you know, died and the horror of realizing there was no way of bringing him back. Impossible finality of it. Well, that's humanity, too. You know, the determination to, to, to make it make sense, to have it be a part of a story that leads to a better world. I never abandoned that. I, mean, I just thought maybe I could spend some time on the things that make life worth living, too. Maybe I lost track. Maybe I feel like, I don't know, because you didn't tell me. Well... Or Aurora. What are you gonna do, though? What are you gonna do? Take a page out of Guo's book there and just muddle through, I suppose. Um, oh, what's that over there? Interesting little... Oh, that's underwater. Interesting little structure we got going there. Their little glowy hand thing over there. I'm sure we'll get to that. Okay, it does look like as soon as we get line of sight to some of these things, it marks them, at least at the question mark on the compass, which is nice. I think I noticed that in the previous area, but maybe not the first two. Uh, number three, here we go. There's a couple little... Oh! Alright, we got some floating vines. I'm sure that's fine. Definitely not a glitch in the matrix. <clears throat> I 
All right, number three, crossing. All right, we got a jammer bit, a fan, an accumulator, uh, a box. All right. Button. And a big plot of nothing. Oh, wait, no, here's the actual uh, blue input there. That's probably what we need eventually. Um, but I do need that box also. Don't suppose we can jam this between the bars? No, we cannot. Um, but I will take this with me, I guess, right? Uh, I just, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we got the box means we can do this. Um, oh, I see. Uh, okay, I need the red bit here. Can't charge it through the grate. Of course not, because the lasers are f***ing huge. Can't slip between the apparent gap of the bars. Um, okay, this will be for later for when we actually have the blue, right? Um, that's interesting. So I need the jammer back here somehow. Oh, no, I see. I actually get the blue here, right? Oh, okay. Sort of? Did that actually charge? Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. That feels busted. But all right. What does that open? What did that open? This? Oh, I guess that is the way to do it, huh? That's fucking bizarre as hell. I didn't th that that shouldn't have worked like that, right? <laughs> that really shouldn't have worked like that. Oh. Oh, well, okay. That feels like it shouldn't have done that, but all right, you know what? I ain't gonna complain about it. Okay. Feel like mayhaps that shouldn't have done that. There's so much history here that we can't see. The founder must have walked these paths Let me try that again. Of times, maybe thousands. I feel like that's not. Miranda must have stood right where I... we're standing. Okay, maybe that was this correct. Alien to us, but it must have been familiar to them. But I guess now we know that it charges really quick, huh? Where are they now? All right, never. Inside the mega structure, waiting for us to pass the test. It's the only thing that makes sense. Let's see. The charger thing on top of the box and made it fly. Oh, okay. And you see, that would have made... I think that makes more sense to me. Right? Because it gets it up there. It gets it stable. Although... How would you do that, though? Because as soon as you set the box down, it flies away, right? And you can't pick up the box with the thing on it, right? Yeah, because it doesn't do that. Huh. Interesting. Well, I mean, I guess I'll accept the way that I did It seems weird, but I'll accept it. Alright. Well, let me keep an eye on this map that we get from the Sphinx thing. Makes me paranoid. <sighs> okay. I guess we have eyes on two of the three switches. That's probably enough. Then I can pick up the third one when I get to the main bit, right? Is this number... This must have been number two over here, huh? Yeah, I guess I think I walked backwards a bit, huh? Yeah, okay.
Oh, is this the other switch over here? Oh no, it's another one of the little flame sparky bits that lets you skip shit. Uh, I mean, I don't really need it. But I would like to get it because it's standing out. Maybe there's a way I can yoink a box out of somewhere and jump up there. But either way, I guess I don't really need it. Ooh, no, that's too deep. Three is the one we just did. Four is over here. Supposedly. extra paths, too, since we're technically still looking for those. Oh. Oh, well, hey. Down with a, a free star, huh? So then we know that the second star is the Sphinx Switch thing, right? Oh, well, I'm not going out into the water, so uh, hopefully we stay along the coast. Again, not going out into the water. Maybe. Or maybe we are. Oh, it's a shell a bit here. Okay. That's what they keep telling us. But you know what? I'd prefer the present to be better than it is, than to hold out for some weird future that I'm probably not going to be alive for. Um, but okay. Alright. Prometheus one. Passed by probably at least two or three actual puzzles here. <laughs> Whilst we were following that shit thing. Uh, okay. Which one is this gonna be here? Whoa! This might actually be number four. Oh, no, that's number three. Damn it. Ah, okay. Oh, uh... Oh, Alcatraz, you got nothing for me yet. Alright, fine. Keep wandering. I'll look around still. Alright, so there's a path to four, right? Let's see what this path leads to. So this might be one of the, the lost bits or the lab, or both. Keep an eye on where these things are ending up.
Oh, what? Oh. Ah, one of the lost ones. Good. I'd rather scope these out first. Field of view. Alright, we got uh, two accumulators, red and blue. And an inverter. And red and blue there, and red and blue there. Uh, okay. I see. Only one inverter, though, huh? Hmm. Okay. Well, probably gonna need one of each. Okay, I think I see what's... I think I see what's happening here. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Okay, now we're gonna have to think about this a bit. So we got the blues on the outside, which are probably within range. Both of which are probably in range. Yep, yeah, okay. Um, but, but, uh, well, unless we can just barely get this motherfucker, like, up on the ridge here. No, of course not. Why would, why would it be that simple, huh? Yeah. Even though clearly it's got clearance. Ugh. Nuts. Okay. Then the other option is... To have them both be... I got it. Okay. I need both of these to be red. Because then both of them can be interior bits, right? And then I need one of them to be available to the inverter. Uh, oops. Which can then hit both blues, right? Um, I need to tuck this one probably in. And this one probably like in there. Because then we can go blip, blip, blip. And very carefully there. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, whoops, forgot to connect this one up. There we go. Zroop. Oh, and then there's more to it. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, crap. I, uh,. Shit. <laughs> ah, nuts. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh, can I put this up on top of this motherfucker here, or? Uh... No. Oh, I sort. Yeah, I can. Um. I. Uh. Huh? I can't jump up there myself. No, of course not. Um, hmm, this is interesting. Okay. But clearly I can't wrap that back around, so that's kind of wild. 
So let me put this one here. Oh, that's not gonna do shit, is it? Oops. All right, let's put that one up there. So now we got the two, the two inner bits are taken care of, right? But how in the... How the balls is that gonna help me with the, the other bit though? I kind of need this, right? Now that's... Wait, what? Why is that open? Oh, I just need to do the red ones to open this gate. Oh, and I need the blue ones to open this one. Oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a dummy. Never mind. I know what's going on then. Uh, I think. Or is it the other way around? Which ones are these doing? Uh, I think I need one of these blue ones, right? Yeah. Oh, I see. So those two are for this gate here. And then this one is for, uh... Oh, this is gonna be stupid. Okay. Um... Shit, how am I gonna do this? Oh no! Uh, uh oh. That's silly. Okay, so now we've got that back there. Um, I guess I need this to be a blue. There we go. I need this to be a blue and I need this to power... I guess this one, right? Then I can pull this one back out, invert that here, do both the blues there, right? Sort of. Just I need to move that over a little bit. There we go. And then that means I can get the red. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. The red here, and then just pop this up here, I guess, yeah? And that should open that. Wow, okay, that was a bit more mind-bendy than I probably needed it to be. It wasn't super clear. Oh, I guess it kind of was, because the, the lines on this side terminated at this gate, and the other two went back to that one. Okay, I just wasn't paying attention. That's on me. But we did it. Either way, we did it. Um, okay. Number four. Um, got a couple additional question marks here. One of which is nearby ish. I wonder if that's the other switch. Oh no, it's the little hand to print deal it off. Okay, you know what? That's good too. Oh, more lifters here. Okay, you know what? I'm cool with that. Must be something while we're walking around. The most foolish illusions that commonly persist is that nature is a victim and humanity is a perpetrator. Yeah, this can only more or less. be of someone who has not witnessed nature at first hand, who has not seen its immense and awe-inspiring baseness. Nature is mindless chaos uh... and eternal conflict. A system of predation and consumption whose perfect cruelty can only induce a terrified and unwilling admiration. Nature is our most powerful and least honorable enemy. Mm. A beast that consumed every last one of our ancestors yeah. and will consume us just as quickly if we are not successful in our struggle with it. Uh, sure, I guess I agree with 
some of that? I don't know. I I feel like humanity has more of a will and intent to it than nature does, though. Oh, and there's another social media bit. Oh, boy. Bring back dogs. <laughs> I should re-domesticate dogs. My ancestors love dogs so much. They, they were amazing companions all life and love man's best friend in life. They live with humans since they've been infinitely better than in the wild, so why not bring them back? Uh, well... Yeah, the poet Lord Byron wrote a beautiful poem on his dog's boat swain. He said he had beauty without vanity, strength without insolence, courage without ferocity, and all the virtues of man without his vices. Uh, I don't know. Like, I've got nothing personally against dogs, to be honest with you. But boy howdy, my neighbor's got a couple dogs, and they bark at fucking nothing, and it's annoying as hell. Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see, but, uh, should breed, uh, it's a great idea, dogs are beautiful creation, we should breed them back except pugs, yes, because pugs were kind of, like, fucking cruel of us to breed, right? They're better off being wolves, oh boy. Um, hmm. 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 Boy, that's... That's kind of that's kind of tough. Like I don't mind dogs, but yeah, I kind of agree with the not pugs bit. As goofy as they look, um, it's probably terrible for pugs. So uh, yeah, sure, breed them back except pugs. <laughs> really, the breed does seem important. Ah, uh, yeah. That's why you can choose not to do it badly. There we go. Oh, excellent. See, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. See, they got the right interpretation there. Like, yeah, let's not be dumb and, and breed animals such that they're, like, in pain and shit. That seems like a good idea. All right. We, we, we made the right choice, I think. Um, okay. That was, what, we did number four there? Oh, no, we did the hidden bit. One of the hidden bits, because we found it. Where was number four? There it is. And a couple question marks. Take pugs over pit bulls. Oh yeah, that's a good point too. Like, see, there's so there are extremes that dog breeds are bred for, right? Like pit bulls just being aggressive, nasty things for their purpose, right? And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I I can't really speak to that facet of it. I just know the whole pugs being unable to breathe thing is kind of not good. Um. Wellspring. Got a red bit. Normal ass laser bit. Another normal ass laser bit behind a little field. Uh, can we, do we have eyes on any of the other ones? We do not. What about over here? Okay, we've got a blue, blue bit, an accumulator. Okay. We're gonna need blue. We're gonna need blue here. Uh, so probably like that, maybe? Because what was this source over here? Was this red or blue? Red figures. Okay. Um, what else we got? Okay, so there's a blue source. Um, boy. All right. Uh, here's the thing here. Do blue source there to blue. How are we even gonna do this? We're we gonna have. Okay, so that clearly doesn't work because it's behind a fence, right? Um, but alright, I guess we can maybe get an angle on this one here. No, that's an actual fence. Fuck. Uh. Uh, so clearly I'm going to need the accumulator out of there somehow. Oh, there's another... Oh, jeez, really? Okay, uh, let's put that right there, but that doesn't make much sense. Okay, let's try this again. 
Uh, yeah, because that goes all the way the f over there. The only other one we have access to is a red, right? And that's over here. Um, actually, where's the red? Is the red bit for unlocking that? No, where the fuck is that? Where was the red bit? We saw it, yeah? It's over there. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the angle to get to it from in one, though. Do we? No, I don't think we've got that angle. Do we? Let's see. No, definitely not. Okay. Well, then fucking... Well, I guess we need the accumulator for that one, then. So what do we got? We got red there. Blue is way the fuck over here. There's no, like, cheeky little holes in the wall we can use to charge this thing, right? Okay. So the best we've really got is this. As a blue. But that doesn't lead to anywhere. The other option is... Oh, I see. Okay, I think I got it. Just barely target this thing over here. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, do like that. Hell of an angle. Okay, now we've got the accumulator, right? Um, and then we need red. Oh, wait. We can't get this motherfucker out of here now, though. Um, alright. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll charge it with blue for now. And then put that, uh, I guess. Uh, here? So put that right there, I guess. I don't, I don't know what else I'm. I'll leave that there for now. But then what? Like, what can we... What else can we target with blue? Nothing. We need red. Oh, there's another red bit over there, too. The fuck? This didn't have a blue on the other side, did it? Not a blue there, but no, no that's pure red. Oh, oh, I, hmm, well, no, I don't get it, actually. Because we need red on that side to unlock that so we can get through, but then there's red here. Uh, okay, I think I see. I think I see what's going on. We need this to be charged with red, which we can do from, well, I don't actually I don't know where we can do that from. I guess we'll charge it here. Because red is all the way the fuck over here. Alright. There we go. Um, and then we need... Oh shit, how's that gonna work? Because I need red over there. How the hell am I gonna get red there? Fuck. So, I mean, the only other... Oh, oh, I think I see. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Wait just a sec. We need... First we need this, right? And we've got a connector in here. Uh, oh gosh. Um... Oops. Well, definitely need this, right? Uh... Alternatively... No, I guess that's the only way we can get it out there. Okay, well, start with this. And then we need to get, like, red somewhere else, I guess? If we need it closer over... 
here. So now we've got red, but the only way we're gonna... Uh, okay, like that's the only suitable angle for that one, really. Can we move this one back a little? Grab this one for now. I need. Where is it? Where did I put it? Oh, it's there. Gross. Like, sort of that, <laughs> I guess. I mean, that puts me. That gets me over here. Sure, okay, fine. Um. But then what? Can I reach my robo hands through these things? Is that the deal? So their option is to pull this one here and then I don't know what to do with that either. I don't think there's any way for me to get the accumulator outside this area either. So that's probably a big old gnope. Uh, although, wait, 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 maybe can I, uh, oh, I've got an idea. Can we target this such that, and I think I can. I just need to put that there, and then do the same thing we did before, just kind of blop, and, uh, yeah, blop, blop. Uh, well, sort of, but just like more like that. There we go. Hey, there it is, okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, let's see, we've got four normal ones and a lost one left here. And then we need to find the, the other switch for the Sphinx start. Let's do like one or two more normal puzzles and then we'll call it. And I will count that as somewhat caught up to where we need to be. I'd really like to find that other switch too, honestly. No idea. I've kind of lost sight of where it should be. Oh, there's uh, Melville's walking over towards something. What are you walking towards, Melville? You got anything to say? No? Okay, fine. Alright. Um, is that a normal ass puzzle there? That's number five. Is that where we want to be? I guess so, huh? And this is kind of like connecting bits here too, huh? Uh, which means... Okay, this is probably number five, then. Wait, hold on. If this is number five, then we kind of got to retreat over here, I think. And then the other switch, I think, is over there. You know what? Let's find the switch first. I don't want to leave that alone. Because it should be near one of the statues, which is pretty clear, right? Look around for that first. It should be... What is this, like, along the coast-ish? Yeah. If we just kind of follow the coast of these islands around, we'll run into it, probably. Probably. Just did, right? There, there we go. Okay, that's the second one I was looking for. The other one is past the main bridge, so we need to do the normal puzzles to get to it. Uh, I'm cool with that, which means the only other two things we're really looking for are the second lost puzzle of this area and then the lab. Which, according to Melville, we need to be able to progress. So, all right. We're kind of stuck without it. 
Uh, number four-ish we just did, right? Yeah, okay. Kind of keep an eye on any of these structures too, right? There might be a, a little back door to it. I think number five was over here. It's almost certainly number six, etc. right? Yep, okay. All right, balance of forces. We got a box, several things, an accumulator. I have a feeling that this is going to be past the accumulator back and forth. That's what this feels like already. Let's do that. Um, there's a blue already. Is that for the fan? Yeah, that's for the fan. Okay. Um, you know what? We're going to do that. And, ah, oh, nuts. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do this. That. And that. 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 Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, maybe that's the right thing. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. I don't think I thought that through. I needed to fucking put it on this first. I'm a dummy. Okay. I think I can. Can I pick that out of the air? Just grab the box. I think I might have to reset this. Oh, no. I can do this. Yoink. Haha, uh -huh, sucker. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, blah. Oh, now it's still kind of doing that. All right, but I need the laser. Ah! Eh, grab it. There we go. <laughs> All right, where's the bit? There it is. Okay. All right. Uh, did we... Um... I need to hit both of them, don't I? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, my initial thought was correct. Just pass it back and forth. And then we're good. Yep. Now, what is it now? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you upload a picture of your hand? Again? Picture. Your hand isn't in the picture. It is the picture. I like it. It's very artistic. <laughs> Let's stay professional, everyone. Oh Mr. boy. Fun of Melville's comically absurd in oh wow, yeah, nice Byron. Couldn't a fucking first humanoid machine, not a photographer. You'll pay for this, Byron. Couldn't fucking predict that backhanded compliment slash insult from Byron there. In the world? Okay, maybe that's... Alright, okay, maybe that's worth making fun of, though. That's a hell of a picture. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, uh, okay. I think Byron's got a point on that one, honestly. Alright, so that's number five, number six, then, eh? Oh, and we got another little thing over here. This might be a path to like the lab or something. Is it possible that on some level, people want to believe that everything's going to get Whoop. worse? That it's comforting to think that humanity is bad and every solution will just go wrong. What? Because that way you're never responsible. Uh... You never have to take on responsibility for anything outside yourself. What? Never have to grow up. That's a very fucking sociopathic outlook. <laughs> Um, which, you know, if we're talking about humanity, all right, you got a point. But even still, like, wow, that's, no, that's bad. I don't agree with any of that. Like, everything is just gonna shit the bed anyway, so I might as well not have responsibility. Hey, look at the lab. It's the lab. We found it. Hmm. This is a very high humidity lab, I guess. <laughs> oh, hey, Byron's here. Why didn't you fucking say something, Byron? You little shit. You know, for a moment, I almost expected to find them here. Damn it. 
But the only thing that's still functional is the megastructure. I'm sorry. This must be awfully strange for you being thrown into all this history. I mean... But that's why I needed you. Eh? Because you're not burdened with all these memories and conflicts and regrets. Way on our minds like a nightmare. Okay. Oh yeah, great. Thanks for giving me the choice to respond with a single thing. Nightmare? Our civilization is caught in a loop, 1K. Is it though? We freed ourselves from the simulation. Okay. But now we're trapped again, and it's our own fault. We're afraid of taking responsibility, afraid of growing up. Instead, we make up some capitalized words and build up all these myths around them. Okay. Nature, balance, the founder, the goal. Wow, okay. Um... We're afraid to face the randomness of the cosmos. But equally afraid to imagine a better world. All right, is Byron more than so a middle stuck. manager here? What the fuck? I've been trying to find a way. Wait out a minute. <laughs> Hold up a sec. Anything to get people to understand that we do actually have free will. That building a thriving, expanding civilization doesn't have to involve repeating the mistakes of the past. Okay. Yeah. I I failed. Yeah. All right. Over and over. Ugh. Alright. Uh, Byron. Dude. Like, we're not even... We're not even to, like, the second half here. Can you wait on your fucking Act 2 reveal? Jeez. Alright. Um, and you think that what we've discovered here... What we've discovered here could change things. Yeah. Do, do you think that? Okay. Because this is something unexpected. An anomaly. Everything we found on this island challenges who we have become. Okay, well, I wouldn't put much stock into the murder pyramid just yet, but all right. Possible. And maybe that can break people out of the loop. All we need is a spark. <sighs> maybe that's why she made all this the puzzles, the towers. Uh, that's a way of jolting us out of our complacency. You're assuming Athena made these. That's a big, bold assumption there, Byron. Uh, oh, wait, shit, what was the question? Oh, right, he was talking about, like, oh, maybe that's what the point of this whole uh, this whole thing was. Um, I don't fucking know, man. I'm just here to solve puzzles, all right? Like, good gravy. Neither do I, 1K. But I try to be optimistic. Now, let's see what else we can find here. Okay. You know, I'm gonna give Byron some space. He's clearly got some things on his mind. Oh, this is weird. Um, cause I'm gonna have to think about what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> oh good, a team's, he's already calling a team's meeting. Fucking Byron. All right, he is a middle manager. It sure looks that way. Wait, what did they Let's say? Let's not touch it until I get there. Okay. Um. <laughs> you won't get here in time. My curiosity is too great. Um. Your advice is heard, understood, and boring as fuse. <laughs> no, I've got a certain respect for Melville. Sound advice, but what is it? I think it's a somnodrome. Uh, it's a sort of analytics tool for processing mental data that Melampus dreamed up. Who's Melampus? But all he ever did was sketch out the theory. As far as I'm aware, he never actually built one. Looks like the founder gave it a go. All right, well, hold up. Why aren't uh, Yakut and Alcatraz in on this group call? What the fuck? I feel like this is every everybody should know about this here. Um, how does it work? Well, <clears throat> what we know is that our deeper algorithms are hard to pass. Melampa stipulated okay. that the computational power hard to, parse, to interpret huh? them in real time would always be beyond us. Oh. But in theory, okay. the Somnodrome would interpret that data and loop it directly to our senses. People I are hoping to find answers see. to the big questions by having a conversation with our own subconscious. If you ask me, it's solipsistic at best. It's pseudoscience regardless. That may be. 
But if the founders solipsistic Byron, that's a fucking million dollar word. Where'd you learn that? Important discovery. Uh, uh we should study it. I agree. I don't think the we should just that device could prove invaluable. shouldn't just fucking plug Besides, into it. You may have survived <clears> those data stream overloads, but interface with that thing and you're liable to get bricked. Mm. Sounds like a plan. Melville, I'm shutting this thing what? down. No, 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 don't shut it down. We didn't say that. Get on with exploring the rest of the land. Excuse me, Byron. No, don't shut it down, you ding dong. Uh, all right. What? Oh, here. Oh, it's Melampus. Uh, to all you, I show you questions of the sound drum, and I'm afraid I can't answer them. It was a dream I had, blah, 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 blah. Long since faded, I did build a prototype. It's part of one of its systems. Uh, yeah. Oh, good. Excuse me. Ugh. Which is simply not interested in the affairs of New Jerusalem anymore. I care as little for Byron's utopia as I do for Herman's religious pessimism. I'm sure I care about anything at all. Oh, Melampus become a nihilist, huh? Um, in fact, I think not caring may be the only answer at the end of the day. Everything is transient, even the self. Learn to let go. Please do not respond. I've held my privacy. What the fu- Wait, so this is a- this is a PM to us, yeah? And he's telling a- he's- Or is it just to- I guess to the expedition team, huh? Ah, oh, that's- well, this is weird. Okay. Hey, look at this. Uh, blah 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 blah. One of the loopier first companions. Oh, good. Uh, dreamed up that. It's supposed to help us visualize the black box of the subconscious, quote unquote, right? And so provide some kind of moral or spiritual insight. Never properly worked, of course. Apparently, Founder took an interest and in experimented further with the technology. Okay. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess the name is a big fucking tip off, right? Somno. The, pre the Somno prefix, right? Oi. Right. That's interesting. Can I stick my hand in this regardless? I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, the answer the character is the individual that exists ethically in society and the world are within us. And then him is not failing to create a better system, but failing to truthfully reflect what already exists within our minds. Failure of connection between the high and the low, the inner and the outer. Most and most days that uh, seems wrong to me, but sometimes when I think of our New Jerusalem, who wrote this? Oh, Athena. Okay. When I think of our New Jerusalem is headed, I wonder if the Somnodrome doesn't hold an answer after all. I took some time to build a prototype according to the blueprints. There's a lot of Melampus didn't account for. Still, I'm almost certain I could apply some of my own knowledge and make it work. Uh, should I, though? Um, that's a good-ass question. I know we said we wouldn't touch it. Oh, it doesn't even let us. Boo! Fucking boo. Alright, whatever. Another glowy bit. Oh, okay, so we got some, uh... Hmm. Teleportation matter transference type stuff going on here, yeah? Yep, okay. <clears throat> oh boy. Alright. From, uh, Hecla. <clears throat> Where are you going? Continue to have faith in blah 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 blah. Uh, your mother or creator chosen the progenitor and certainly this is a test of child like the blah 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 and we learn from your example and keep the faith. Yeah, okay. I don't agree with that. Uh, the results confirm the anomaly is consistent. There's no error in trial 108. The errors in our understanding. We need to start over. My goodness. Okay. Next. Um, ran to Athena and had to run the next set of trials. Anyways, I needed to wait, but the data we got from the last batch is just too amazing. Uh, every step leads to the next, like a progression of musical notes. We're so close. Yeah, let's not be careful and analyze the data before you proceed. Surely nothing wrong will happen. Um, and then schematics from Melville, presumably to get to the next area. Oh, good. Yeah, another data overload. I'm sure it's fine. Excellent. The singularity sustained itself longer this time. Did we get the data? We did. I think we just obsoleted quantum physics. Oh, really? That Maybe. All... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to be able to replicate these results. You know, yeah, I've been a good wondering. science, you know? You told me that in the simulation, one thing that kept you motivated was looking for answers. Do you think that with the work we're doing, we'll ever run out of questions to ask? I don't think so. Trying to understand the universe means asking the same question over and over. How? How do you make fire? 
How do earthquakes happen? How does gravity work? How do particles behave? You keep digging deeper, finding another set of mechanisms, okay, well, another set of powers. We know how fire works for sure, step right? Step by step, you demystify reality. But then, if you keep doing it long enough, one day, you run out. You've answered all the hows. You know how the universe works. Okay, but then next is so, why, right? Now what? Eh? Eh? Now you ask why. Hey, we got it. Isn't that oh, the there. Step? I was looking for where the fuck mm, they were. Here. It's not quite that easy. The question of why cannot be answered. Even if it could, it would only be followed by another why. Yeah. At some point, you have to accept that it all just exists. Uh... But there is another set of questions. What's next? You've stripped away the layers of mystery. You've laid bare the machinery. Now you have to start building to add your own layers of meaning. Okay, yeah. Sure, sure. Sure, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. All right, another overload. We still didn't get fried. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, Byron. Don't don't worry. Yes, I saw. It came through on your stream. It's strange to hear her voice again, but that was her. The way I remember her. Mm. The real Athena, not this imaginary founder. Um, tell me more about her, I guess. I was one of the first she woke up. I mean, number seven, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Small family in the ruins of a dead civilization. It was hard. Harder than anyone could possibly imagine. Yeah. We had nothing except what Alexandra Drennan at the Institute left us. Yeah. Now that everyone lives in civilization, they don't understand how necessary it was for us to build that civilization. They can fantasize about living in balance, limiting growth, retreating behind our walls. They don't understand what it really means to live in the wilderness. Okay, yeah. How close sure. we came to not making it. How many people we lost. Yemma was just the first. But Athena understood. She believed in humanity. She believed in us. In the inherent value of consciousness. Her dreams were so much bigger. She wanted us to reclaim the earth. To reach for the stars. To build and grow and learn. Okay. All right. Um, why did she leave? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, yeah, Byron. Big shock. I understand why she became frustrated when the city started thinking more about itself than about the future. Mm -hmm. It was frustrating for all of us. But we were still fighting for that future together. What I don't understand is why she didn't tell me. Hmm. If she came here to do all this, why didn't she bring me along? Um. Hmm. I, I guess she did what she thought she had to. She did. She must have had reasons. I just don't understand. Uh, okay. But if all this is a test, Maybe there's an answer waiting for us in the mega structure. Yeah, the big murder Speaking pyramid. Which, sure. Let's get back to exploring. Melville should have reconnected the next station by now. Yeah, because Melville's actually doing shit. Man, I don't know what to think about Byron anymore. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Hmm. Hmm. You just stay down here, all right, buddy? Unless you got more to say. Do you have more to say? No, okay. You just stay down here, all right? Go solve some puzzles. <laughs> Boy. All right, okay, so we've got... Um, let's see what we have here. Three normals, a lost, and then uh, the last switch for the star. I think we're going to call it there for tonight. I think we've made a little bit of headway back into catching up to where we should be. And we could probably take care of, like, a section and change next time as well, and probably be caught up by then, right? Because we know what we need to do for that last star. It's not going to be a weird map misinterpretation like it was tonight. Um, so that'll do it for tonight. 
Uh, next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CST. Back here with Talos Principle 2. Um, Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CST will be Shmup Book Club. So more of Trigon or Blue Wish Resurrection Plus or Karis. Friday, Saturday, we're off. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST will be more long play. Uh, we've got a few days to look for some new things. Otherwise, it'll probably just default back to Splunk 2 again, honestly. Uh, I think we are kind of running out of that though <laughs> maybe one more night of it maybe not we'll we'll see and then next monday 7 p.m cst almost certainly more talus principle too as well um since we are not even 50 percent through right what does it say now 39 percent ish so we're getting there we're getting there but we're not we're not quite halfway all right that'll do it for tonight thanks for watching everybody see you on wednesday bye-bye <laughs>